In her essay titled Eating the Other, Desire and Resistance, Bell Hooks wrote, Within current debates about race and difference, mass culture is the contemporary location that both publicly declares and perpetuates the idea that there is pleasure to be found in the acknowledgement and enjoyment of racial difference. The commodification of otherness has been so successful because it is offered as a new delight, more intense, more satisfying than normal ways of doing and feeling. Cultural appropriation of the other assuages feelings of deprivation and lack that assault the psyches of radical white youth who choose to be disloyal to Western civilization. Concurrently, marginalized groups deemed other who have been ignored, rendered invisible, can be seduced by the emphasis on otherness, by its commodification because it offers the promise of recognition and reconciliation. <laughs> Hello, it's Simply Spitzer here and welcome back to my YouTube channel but also a special welcome to you if you're here for the first time and welcome to those listening to the audio podcast Simply Do The Work. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we will be discussing the recent controversy surrounding Leon Schuster and Show Max, you know, um, removing his videos for the use of blackface now okay before i you know dive into the meat of the matter let's get some housekeeping out of the way firstly i do want to apologize in advance for any background noises um i am clearly not home alone like you know because of the lockdown and you know covid19 social distancing we're still maintaining that okay the pandemic is not over contrary to what some people on social media might have you believe so there any background noises because like my dad's in a meeting and you know I, I, I can't control what these other human beings are doing and i'm not in a soundproof room so you know what it is what it is um but also if you <laughs> that was a little unnecessary ramble but also if you are um not yet subscribed please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video and if you're listening to the podcast please do follow subscribe rate and review and also share the podcast um yeah i guess without further ado let's just dive straight into it so you know got my notes here and you know how it goes you know how it goes it's you know we're discussing mess so it might get a little bit messy but hopefully you'll be able to follow through with me so in case you don't know what's happening what's up what's the tea let me you know let me fill you in catch up to speed and make sure that we're on the same page so last week okay so today i'm filming this the 25th of june 2020 that's when i'm filming this um last week show max decided to remove certain video certain films certain movies certain content from their platform that um might have racist um ra racist and racially insensitive content or material you know and that included i believe it was six movies by leon schuster and in those movies he used blackface you know that was you know the main issue and also i mean if you've been following on social media you probably would have seen that this isn't just unique to south africa all around the world streaming sites and networks have been reviewing their content and removing certain films and series and episodes that do use blackface you know and because i first was seeing it you know and was it in like um was it net, like netflix and certain like british um streaming sites and i was like i remember just thinking to myself hmm so does that mean the same is gonna happen here in south africa like even even before right show max announced their decision i was actually wondering what was gonna happen like what like you know because right now um you know the black lives matter movement got reignited it it, it, it has basically spread to all corners of the earth you know and i know some people actually a lot of people were upset with this decision that show max made a lot of people were saying things like oh um woke twitter won't let us have anything anymore um they're saying things like this is an american issue why are you guys bring america things here in south africa and let me just speak on the first point and i even tweeted this i said 
being woke isn't exhausting because right, some, some people said being woke must be exhausting because you find offense in everything which is not true and i'll explain to you guys why being woke isn't exhausting right what is exhausting is having to constantly engage with people who aren't open-minded who aren't willing to learn and educate themselves that is what's exhausting and i think the reason and also by the way i do not identify as woke um because woke has sort of become a trend right it's sort of like for some people being woke is a performance it's an act that they put on it's a persona that they take on and if if you know you're not speaking on things that truly matter to you then i can imagine it's going to be exhausting for me um talking about these issues isn't something i just do for the public it's something that, these are conversations i have been having in my everyday life like literally it's on any given day you'll find at some point i had a conversation with someone about something problematic i heard or saw and i think also people are failing to realize and at this point i feel like i'm a broken record because whenever we're discussing these sort of issues it goes beyond the individual that's being mentioned you know i do think that for example this um decision made by show max regarding the interest of movement movies has sort of allowed us to have this conversation here in south africa regarding blackface because i feel like it's not a conversation that is commonly that we commonly discuss or have here in our country and so i think let's first start off and basically like define what is blackface and understand why is it racist why is it so wrong basically first of all in case you don't know leon schuster is a white man okay he's a white man that is a fact and so him putting on blackness as a costume is dehumanizing it separates black people from their humanity it detaches our humanity from our bodies excuse me you also have to understand that blackface has a long deep racist and oppressive history okay when blackface was used it was used to perpetuate stereoty negative stereotypes on black people it was used as a means to ridicule black people to look down upon them with black like take leon schuster for example right here he this is and this is what i was saying you've got these black men these black people fighting for a white man to dress up as a black woman when they are disrespecting like at the same time real black women are being abused are being mistreated are being forgotten are being disregarded it's the same conversation where it comes with you know cultural appropriation where people don't understand why you know black people get so upset when you wear certain black hairstyles because you don't understand the history of don't understand the importance of the significance of it i was reading um the essay eating the other by bal hooks and how she describes it is that literally white people consume other cultures in a form of cannibalism you know it's sort of like other cultures are seen as the spice as the seasoning to add onto the blandness that is white culture but anyway i think i've kind of <laughs> gone a little bit of a tangent let me bring it back to the issue at hand so okay cool right show max makes the decision to pull leon schuster's um movies and then what does Leon Schuster say? Because there's all this noise from the crowd, right? But what did Leon Schuster say? And this is actually one of the reasons why when I first heard of the story, I didn't immediately come to... I didn't immediately film my video. I was like, you know what? Let me first take my time. Let me first make sh get all, you know, get all the information because you, know, you, know, you don't want to speak too soon. And then new information comes up. Then you look like a clown. But what I did find is that um, in, a, in a story published on the 5th of August, 2018 by the times live website leon schuster himself said blackface is racist and he says that many fans have begged him not to do it and so he will no longer be doing it 
recently, with regards to recent allegations, Rob von Fieren apologized for using blackface in the 2013 movie Shucks, Your Country Needs You. And he even said that he knew at the time that what he was doing was wrong. He basically went through a whole lot of mental gymnastics to justify it at the time. But he knew and, you know... He, 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 like he recognizes how in his privilege he's in the wrong. He recognizes how he shouldn't have done that. And I can appreciate that. I can respect that. Okay. Look, I'm not saying that, um, you know, when we're calling people out and holding them accountable, we're not saying people aren't allowed to be flawed human beings because we all are, you know, Lord knows I have my own mistakes, but you know, they weren't like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it in front of millions of people. So I've still learned, I've still grown, and, you know, even with him, he, he recognizes how he was wrong, and, you know what, I don't even have much to say about that, but then, okay, this is the way I kind of get, con this is where I get a little confused, like, okay, what is going on, make it make sense, because n recently, when I read the recent articles, Leon was saying that he was disappointed at the decision that Showmax made and was saying that fans had never said anything to him about the use of blackface and that's when I'm just like what what less than a year ago you you yourself you said blackface is racist people asked me not to do it and so I won't do it but now that your films are being you know now that they're being um taken away or you know taken down now you're like girl I I don't know what that like you you are you're surprised you're shook you're dismayed and there's a comment that he made that I find issue with you know he was saying that we should forget color and isn't this a rhetoric that I, th I thought we addressed I thought we explained how just you can't just hit the equality button and say yep we're all people let's forget color let's just live in a post-racial world because that you can say that as a white man you you can easily easily forget about color but me as a black person i don't have that luxury i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry but why like, I, I i don't even have words to say at this point because i feel like I've been saying why we cannot live in a post-racial world. Why saying I don't see color is not effective to the solution at all. You know, I was saying it's all just because I feel like, yes, I am not, I think for so, I, I do, we do recognize how race is a construct, right? How race, you know, the idea and concept of race didn't exist like a thousand years ago. It's, you know, I think about 600 years old. But at the same time, as much as it's a construct, as much as it's a device or, you know, a made up thing, it does have real implications on people's lives. Okay. I, today, I have, ex I still, you know, experience discrimination because of my race, you know. So you can't tell me to just forget about the color. You can't tell me that we're all just life kids, which is true. But that mindset doesn't bring, doesn't help us come any closer to a solution. And then, right, with all of this happening, like all over the world, right, people talk about blackface and being upset about it. So some people are saying, but then how come um, movies with white face, like white chicks, aren't seen as offensive? And I can't even say it with a straight face because... Um, white face isn't a thing they just there isn't it doesn't have the same historical significance the same historical implications as blackface does but you know since y'all brought it up let's talk about white chicks now i funny enough i actually recently did watch white chicks not for this movie but just coincidentally i rewatched white chicks and so first i don't want to say i'm not going to say white chicks is you know a piece a masterpiece of cinema um, I'm not going to say that it isn't problematic, you know, I mean, I wrote down here, it's, it's got like fat shaming, I mean, the misogyny, you have white people saying the N-word, and there's also some homophobia, transphobia, and, you know, some questionable, um, takes on date rape and drug use, okay, so, 
white chicks has its own issues and those can be discussed on another day but since y'all brought up white facing white like it even sounds weird saying it because literally i've never heard this term used but okay first of all when you actually like watching white chicks now you know knowing what i know now and you know watching it also with the backdrop of what's happening in the world and also you know critically thinking about it white chicks does actually provide some meaningful critiques and insights into white culture and how um how there's this you know elitism and the racism because it's almost like in white chicks you kind of see how white people act when black people aren't there you know or when they you know when they th it's kind of like the facade that white people can give off when they're you know with around with other black people it falls away in white chicks and i think also people want to come at the wine brothers but if you actually look at the wine brothers characters they continue to act like themselves even when they were dressed as you know the white chicks to us all the jokes and the digs at white people were mostly made by the white actors in the film and so to also act as if the Wyan brothers, you know, dressing up in, to act as if white chicks has the same implications on a white person as blackface has on a black person is both disingenuine. I believe it, it just shows that you don't care. You don't have the, it just shows, that, it, also, it just shows to me, you didn't do the reading. And this is where it gets exhausting. It's kind of like, we talk about two different things. These are apples and oranges, right? But anyways, there's that, right? And I think also another another thing people are saying is that black like, this is an American issue. Um, why are we, you know, why are we in South Africa? Like I feel like that's what a lot a lot of times, right? When we bring up issues like not only blackface but colorism, um, people will be like, oh, that's an American thing. We don't have that in South Africa. But I don't think you guys actually realize how much America influences not only South Africa, but like the world, you know, like black American culture specifically is one of the biggest exports of America. And the thing is, we can't deny the power and the strength that that, you know, influx of american content has on us you know i feel like we're so it's easy to just you know latch onto the good that we get from america but i think also because of how much um messaging we're getting from them even the negative it comes with you know you can't pick and choose what you're gonna take i think that's also the issue with um woke culture you know the people people who act woke is that as soon as it's their fave oh wokeness has left the chat they will defend mess with all that they have and like i'm saying it's not to say that like I, I always say i'm not coming from a place of moral superiority i'm not saying i have the answers and i myself have gone it wrong at times but i think the thing is it's always that's what i was saying in my previous video it's a constant process you're constantly learning educating yourself because sometimes looking back there are things that i defended like you know in conversation looking back like oh you defended mess and that's what also i think sometimes people just need to just be quiet just don't say anything like i get it we all have the right to an opinion but not all opinions need to be heard you know even i myself sometimes if i see my faith getting dragged i'm like oh girl this is messy and i Especially, you know, something that I can see that, you know, I don't really understand why people are upset, but I listen. I think that's the component that is missing whenever these conversations, these issues are brought up. People aren't listening to each other. It's just screaming over each other. And things, once it's over, people move on. Like, no one ever actually takes the time to reflect and be like, okay, so this is what's happening in the world. This is what people are saying. What? And this is what I think. Why do I think this way? It's even like um this morning I was even I was having a conversation with some friends about you know offensive jokes and laughing at things and think even with this issue of Leon Schuster and his movies and the use of blackface and how it's racist I think the fact that the movies and films are funny that doesn't take away from how racist 
and offensive they are. Those two ideas can coexist. They, the movies, the jokes can both be racist and funny. Because I think a lot of times they're doing they apologize for making an offensive joke. They say, I'm so sorry, um, the joke wasn't funny. Uh, I was like, no, the joke was funny, but it's still offensive. I think that the thing is also humor is very subjective, right? And I think the reason why people also don't want to admit when something is offensive is, be is because what does it say about you as a person? If I found that offensive joke funny, what does it say about me? People aren't willing to do that self-reflection. And I think that's the thing, you don't stop at self-reflection. You also have to do the work, you know? It's the same as, you know, if you find a racist joke funny and you consider yourself to be anti-racist sit down do the work and be like, okay why did i find that funny what do i need to unlearn because trust me once you've done the work right those jokes will never be funny ever like there are things looking back which i used to think were you know comedic peak you know i thought of oh, comedic genius but once i realized how problematic it was i thought oh actually that's not funny i once saw um a sin sent me a friend sent me a post saying I'm not offended, I just don't like your insults that are disguised as jokes. I also feel like why is it that, why do you feel the need to make this joke? You know, why are you so pressed? Why do people want to, like, I don't understand why people want to defend these um, racist, hurtful and harmful things. And Leon Schuster, right? This isn't a... Like, I, we, we don't hate Leon Schuster, by the way. He did, you know, his most recent statement was saying that while he was initially disappointed, he's willing to listen. And if this causes harm, he will no longer do it. And that's all we're asking, right? Um, He probably, you know, was like, okay, you know what? People are saying that this is offensive. People are saying that you know this is harmful and this is why i was saying that whenever we discuss it we're not attacking the individual i think that's where we need to distinguish there's a difference between attacking leon schuster and attacking or not even attacking we're not attacking anyone and addressing the issue of blackface in his films the issues of cultural appropriation in his films you know because it goes back to if you're calling out a friend or family member for saying something inappropriate, you're not coming for their character. You're not saying that, oh, well, you're such a horrible person. How, 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 how dare you say that? How dare you say such a thing? No, you're just saying, hey, listen, what you said, it isn't okay because of this reason, these reasons. And then the person will be like, oh my goodness, thank you so much for telling me. I'll do better. You know, I think we need to just get past that thing of, Oh, but they're a good person. Oh, but we, we know they mean well. You're like, oh, blackface, it has such a racist history, so oppressive. But we know when he's doing it, he doesn't mean it like that. That doesn't work. Sorry. If you think like that, um, please do the reading. Please educate yourself. Um, I do feel like there's a lot I could have said regarding this issue, regarding blackface, even on like cultural appropriation. It's just, there are so many layers and um i feel like i didn't really do them much justice today but i think this is a good start this is a good conversation start because i feel like you know my intention whenever i sit down to record these isn't necessarily to come off giving the answers or you know telling things i I'm, i don't want to tell people what to believe i don't want to necessarily be the one telling people what's right or wrong because what i want is you know, listen to what I have to say, think about it, but then also go and learn, go and educate yourself, go and, you know, look up to other resources, you know, um, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna leave it here, I'm gonna leave it here and just say thank you so much for watching and or listening if you enjoyed this video and you're watching youtube please do give this video a thumbs up also feel free to leave a comment 
down below let me know what are your thoughts and also follow me on social media at simply special on instagram and twitter like you know lately i've been you know sort of getting over my fear of social media so i'm being a little bit more um more vocal a little bit more interactive on social media so feel free to connect to me on those platforms but yeah without further ado thank you so much once again until i see and hear from you guys in the next one i love you so much bye guys